I'm back in my robe again. Welcome back. I'm not fond of this lighting. I've lost the remote to change the colour, so this is what we're getting. And I only have one ring light today, hence the darkness over here. But oh well. As you can probably tell by that new um, intro thing I had, I'm going to be attempting 12 spooky, not spooky, 12 Halloween looks over the course of October. Whether I actually manage to do 12 looks is a completely different story, but we're going to attempt it. And for today's look, I thought I would do a pirate look because my little sister went as a pirate last year and she looked phenomenal, I'm not going to lie. So we're going to attempt it this year and I did her makeup last year, so I'm just going to redo the makeup I did somewhat the same anyway on my face. We're also going to attempt some hair and if you're not new here you may have heard me say previously that I'm not very good with hair so we'll see how that goes. Also I'm in the basement so I'm sorry if there's like an echo. I do apologize for that but there's nothing I can do about an echo. If you haven't already hit subscribe. I think my face is on I think my little face is here isn't it? If it's here I'm gonna be really mad. I think it's here. If you go down to my face, there is a subscribe button. Fun, right? Shall we get into it? Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer because it's it's more of a matte look, I'd say. Like matte base, and then the eyes do all the talking. And now for foundation, we're gonna use the Dream Satin Liquid Foundation from Maybelline in the shade 21 Nude. I feel like I need a lot of foundation today because of my little blemishes. I can use a brush just to blend. For concealer, I'm going to use the e.l.f. 16 hour camera concealer in the shade Fair Warmth. It's very bright. That's just what we need. So I'm going to put I'm going to put a bit more on than I usually would. I feel like we can get away with it because it's Halloween spooky season. Draw on some whiskers, why not? And then blend it out with my brush again. Why do I look dead? <laughs> We're gonna set the face. I'm gonna use the RCMA No Color Powder and I'm gonna go with this brush. Hopefully it'll do the job I need it to do. I'm gonna tap it under the eyes. I'm not gonna put cream products on because I'm not really trying to build the skin. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not trying to have like a flawless face because you'll see what I mean when I've done like the eyes and stuff, like it's not necessary. But obviously if you wanna recreate, do what you wanna do, you know? No rules here. Now, I'm going to contour. Oh, I like to use an eyeshadow. First, I'm going to contour my nose, and I am going to go a little bit more like dark with it because the eyes are going to be very intense. How many times can I say that? But I then I don't want my nose contour to kind of like be washed out. Do you know what I mean? So we're going to go a bit more intense with it. Now I'm going to contour my jawline, and I'm also going to take it on my cheekbones today new for me okay now i'm going to take my little poofy pad so i'm going to go into the color no wait a second wait a second i have the james charles palette right here it's going to be intense but just bear with me i used to do this before i had like bright concealer but i'm going to do it anyway now that i've got bright concealer anyway i'm going to take my poofy pad i'm going to go into the white <laughs> i'm going to go down the edge of the nose just because this is a bit more intense than using my setting powder i'm looking so dead in the face aren't i i'm gonna use some bronzer to like you know bring some life back i'm gonna use the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer it smells like chocolate i'm gonna keep it to the back of the face because we want to be snatched and as you can see i've put quite a bit on but once again there's gonna be a lot going on on the eyes and we don't want to be looking washed out should have specified that this is more of like a glam pirate look not like a you've just been in a fight kind of pirate look do you know what i mean that's it for the face for now so we're going to move on to brows. First brush them in, into place, I guess, with a spoolie. This is the Max Factor Brow Shaper in the shade Deep Brown, by the way. I'm going to just line underneath. Like so. I'm going to make them a bit more defined than normal. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. <laughs> We've still got the bake thing on, by the way. That's not just how extreme the nose contour's going to look. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go into the James Charles palette with a brush like this. And I'm gonna go into this color here, really load at the brush. And we're just gonna put this in the crease to 
working with as a nice little transition shade and whatever's left of the brush just take it under the eye okay now we're going to go into this color here which is kind of like an orangey brown and do the same thing again kind of winging it back a little bit and taking it under the eye again don't have to worry about being really precise on the under eye because it's a very messy look i'm going right in here by the way like right up against the nose now i'm going to go into this dark brown here and mix it with this ready sort of color up top and do the same thing again we're literally just building colors so that we have a nice little like smoky look i look like a raccoon okay anyways moving on this we're going to take this like red color here and we're going to go onto the lid with it as well okay now we're going to go into this like dark sort of brown here and we're going to do the same thing again to the crease this is very much a trust the process type of look by the way we're probably gonna have to go back in with some more bronzer because it looks like i've put nothing on <laughs> stick with me stick with me we're now going to take some of these purple colors we're going to take this one here and this one here same brush just because i'm lazy i'm gonna put it everywhere now i'm just gonna take a different brush and we're gonna blend some white and some nude color over this part here and under the brow just to help blend everything together now then back on that brush we're gonna go in with some black and we're gonna put it and we're gonna put it on the outer part of the eye and through the crease and then take a little bit more on the lower lash line back in again with some more of those colors on on the brush we used before just to help blend everything back together okay this is where it gets interesting we're gonna take this red here first and mix it with the brown next to it i'm gonna start drawing down the face oh it looks intense but bear with me Take some of the pink and the purple that we used before, go over it again. This looks absolutely awful right now, but please bear with me. I'm going to take a little pointy brush and I'm going to go into the black and we're going to draw down the centre of this line. It looks more like clown makeup right now. I am aware. Okay, I just went, did like a line down the centre of them with a neon pink liner. I'm not really feeling it, but I feel like it's brightened up the look a little bit do you know what i mean but now i'm gonna go onto a flat shade of brush and i'm gonna go into that sparkly purple by there i'm gonna put this over the lid i'm gonna bring it up here as well also on the center of the lower lash line and then down the little drip part now i'm gonna do some liquid eyeliner this is the rimmel london glam eyes liquid liner okay i did quite a thick wing <laughs> like all the way into the inner corner. Now I'm going to use this e.l.f. brown eyeliner. I can't find my black one. I'm going to put it in my waterline. Now I'm taking a pencil brush. I'm going to go into this like ready sort of brownie colour. Anyone will do. And I'm smoking out the wing. I'm going to add some to the lower lash line as well, just on the outward part. Okay, I'm going to be using some very, very fluffy lashes. I can't remember the name of them, but I got them on Amazon. I'm going to attempt stick these on oh, i didn't bring down scissors that's okay it's not the end of the world and the lash glue i'm using is the real false lashes invisible lash glue from benefit okay whilst we're waiting for the lashes to dry down a little bit before we stick them on i'm gonna go back in with some more bronzer because we need it okay i'm gonna go into the james charles palette and on my blush brush i'm gonna go into the bright pink here i'm gonna just add it to the back of the cheeks Gonna make sure my nose is very blushed up okay i had to use half lashes instead because those other ones just wouldn't stick down i had to use this brand i use them all the time they're from amazon okay last step for the eyes i'm gonna go into this morphe highlighter palette on a brush like this i'm gonna take this white color because it's got purple reflex in it and use it in the inner corner i'm also gonna use it on the tip of the nose and up here okay for lips i'm first gonna use this obsession lip liner in dark brown to overline I just colour in everything a bit as well. It was such a dry lip liner. I've never really noticed it before, but I have just sharpened it, so that's probably why. Now I have this lip liner from Primark. It doesn't have a shade name, but it's like a like a ready sort of purpley colour. I'm gonna use this to colour in the lips. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into the James Charles palette and on like a flat brush, I'm gonna take this purpley colour here and just tap it on my lips. Okay, we are gonna use the smallest amount of gloss. This is the Oh, it's got no name on it. I think it's the Barry M Lip Plumper though. Not entirely sure. 
just going to put a little bit up here on the cupid's bow a little bit in the center of this lip for here okay i'm going to take a section from like here i'm just going to basically add little braids around my head not everywhere obviously just like random little places do one right here this is the finished makeup look i'm not feeling it <laughs> It's not as good as I did on my little sister. I'm not gonna lie. Like it's still, it's still not an everyday look. So I mean, think if it were like a full costume on, then I feel like it would be more, it'd have a bit more oomph to it. Do you know what I mean? Like with a hat on, oh, this is literally just a makeup tutorial. So take from it what you will. <laughs> if you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It would mean the world and much more. <laughs> and I hope I will see you in the next video. Thank you.